The Aflac Georgia Classic threw its inaugural first pitch this morning in Albany. It's a baseball tournament filled with teams from across the southeast, all with a goal of becoming a yearly baseball staple. Darn State and Dirt Baseball organized the three-day tournament with 15 teams playing. They hope to build it up, though, to about 40 or 50 teams in the field, turn the competition into a yearly tradition. With a lot of attention in Tallahassee and in Macon, organizers reunite scouts and recruiters with Albany Baseball. There's kind of a gap, and we're that gap. Um, you know, it used to be a baseball, uh, I don't want to, you know, maybe a mecca here. There used to be a lot of really good baseball players coming out of this area. Um, there's still some good talent here, um, and with, again, the facilities that we have, we know it's an attraction where we can attract the best teams in the South. Cook says this is a chance to make Paul Eames Park viable again for the city. The Albany Recreation and Parks Department has been working to upgrade the facility over the past month. And some of the scores from opening day of the Aflac Georgia Classic. Lee County rounding out its day with a 1-1 one one record, defeating Howard in Game 2 by the final score of 9-0. Albany Post 30 and the Albany Paulies opened up with a local game. The Paulies getting the best of the contest, 7-0. Post 30 finishes with a commanding win over Charlton County, 15-3.